My 2007 Jeep Wrangler has a squatting problem when I pull the rescue wagon, which is our 5x8 cargo conversion camper. But today, we're gonna fix that. So today we are going to put on a weight distribution hitch. Now normally, for a 1900 pound camper, you wouldn't have a weight distribution hitch. But old Roxy here, Roxy's got pretty soft rear springs, which I really like when we take off road, it's very smooth. However, when I get things loaded in the back of Roxy and in the front of the rescue wagon and get the, get the generator on here, Roxy likes to squat. So we posted a short on YouTube about uh, Roxy squatting. And some of the, uh, we got a lot of suggestions. One was a weight distribution hitch. And I felt like that was a good one because don't have to change anything out on Roxy and mess up the way that she handles off-road. Now I've never done this before, so what I wanted to accomplish is to make sure that everything is flat when I get everything together. So what I did is I measured before we hooked anything up where the front bumper sits on both sides and it's at about 32 and three quarters. So then what I did is I hooked up what I felt like was even with the hitch and then I brought it back up, I jacked it up to where it was even. So now what I'm gonna try to do is place the uh, weight distribution bars in the right place so that when I crank it down, it's, it's nice and even. Not too high, not too low, and I can measure the front to determine that. So what I've done so far is hooked up the hitch, jacked it up to where it looks like it would be even, I've got to put these little pieces on the side that will hold the bars that will keep it at the right height. Now, just the way these bars were, this is still down quite a bit. So if I did that, it would, it would bring the back of the Jeep up too high. So what I'm gonna try to do is bring these down so it's just a little bit above where it is right now so that I can just crank those up over top. And then when I let it down, I'm gonna remeasure everything. So now what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna reconfigure so that this is just a little bit above where this, where this bar sits when I pull it up. I'm grinding down, there's a little bit of a lip left where we cut this out and it's not allowing my, my bolt to line up with the next hole. So I've just got to take that down so it's flush. Uh, get that out of the way so it'll take me a few minutes to grind that off. All right, so we got our weight distribution hitch set up. We got it on with just on the lowest setting and it's only a quarter inch different at the front. And even when I put an additional 200 pounds on here, it doesn't even seem to really bring it down at all. So I think we're in good shape for this. We're gonna take a ride and make sure that these are in the right spots so that when I turn sharp, that they don't uh, come out and, and pop off there, which I don't think they will. We did the video that we showed the rescue wagon and Roxy really sagging when we went to the Outer Banks and it looks pretty good right now. Um, when we get to a flat surface, I'm gonna stand on it to uh, give like the additional weight that will be on there with uh, a few things that we'll be adding. And then I will have Stacy measure the front and make sure that we're still not too high. If so, I can adjust it up a little bit and that will counteract for the weight. Even with the sharpest turn I'm gonna do, I've got plenty on both of the uh, weight distribution bars, so I don't have to worry about them falling off, so that's gonna be good. Okay, the front was up by about three quarters of an inch, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to move uh, the bars up one more notch, and um, that with the additional weight, I think is gonna be even better for us. This installation is very simple as it's basically just sandwiched over the frame and then you're adjusting the rod up or down. So the installation is simple. You're basically sandwiching the two pieces. Then all you're doing is adjusting this up or down. Originally, 
I had it so that this was down on this bolt. I moved it up one, which brought this rod up, which tightens the tension, which lifts the rear of the Jeep. If I needed to go up further, I would unscrew these, bring this up one more. Uh, depending on what type of weight distribution hitch you have, I've got the E2 or EZ hitch, um, which works really well. But um, I think that, you know, this is going to be good. Now all I have left that I really need to do is my generator will sit in here. So depending on where this hits the bottom of the generator, I may need to um, put a little bit of um, something to, to take up the space in between. I will bolt my LP gas container back on here. If I need to, I can put a little piece of wood in there just as a buffer so it doesn't ride on this. All right, so I do want to give a big shout out to those of you who had suggestions about what to do. And uh, I really appreciate your input on that. So thank you for that. And um, as always, doing things yourself when you don't screw them up allows you to be free.